And you. He went the distance, and he went the mile. Uh-oh. That sounds like an alpha. Because that was running way too fast for it to be me. That was running way too fast for it to be me. And it's behind me! Hello, Daniel! Now we go! And... Welcome back, Eleanor. We are the big daddies! With one little... With one big sister. It, it's still a name in progress. I'm pretty sure I will get through it eventually, but in the meantime... Uh, let us go now to the infirmary! The infirmary is where we're going to be getting the last of the audio diaries and the last of the power to the people stations in the game, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the end! Ah! Daniel, you shot me with a shotgun. That's another charge gone. We have to keep moving. If this building falls, we're all dead. Pretty much, which is why I'm going to kill everyone first. Then, the only ones that will die will be us. Wait, that's not right. Doot! French friendship! And doot! And doot! And... I want this on my side. Alright, so... Daniel hasn't really been killing as much as Travis did. Then again, he has a shotgun. Travis had a rocket launcher. Eric had a rocket launcher too. And Eric got killed by his own fucking security. I will offer no insight. Right, and do Okay, I thought this was something new, but I forgot that she pretty much ends up uh, repeating her dialogue options. So, I wonder what's back over here. Hmm, we can't get into there just yet, but we'll go around. So, uh, ow, Daniel. What's with my what's what's with my alphas and them just Im randomly emitting fire? Is that is that like a uh, discharge or something? That's I I'd say go to the infirmary to you know get it checked out, but we're kind of already there. Hmm. What do we do? Oh well, what we do do right now is go inside here and loot the place up something fierce. Too bad I have full money and ammo in most goddamn things. This is hard mode. I should be like. It should be ball-bustingly difficult for me right now. Eleanor was to be a composite of all Rapture's genius. The first living utopian. Serving the world at large with no regard for herself. To force consciousness on such a being is to tear its wings away. That was your gift to her, Delta. Just as she hoped. You must be very proud. I'm so proud of my little girl. She murders like something fierce. And I think she's taller than me. Mm, don't know how I feel about that. But here we have Such Freedom. This is by Wilson. So let's actually listen to it, because why not? Delta was in top form today. The guards tried to make him take another dose of whatever the hell it is they're pumping into him and he managed to take on all four of them at once. Snapping legs and arms, blood everywhere. They say one of the guys might not even wake up. I wish I could be that free. So that's referring to me, and I actually just realized something, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have a tonic, I don't think. I don't think I have a tonic. There should be one more tonic. I need to think of where I get it. Uh, hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. I need to actually do that. I need to go through my checklist real quick. Yes, I did write out a checklist for this LP. That's what I've been going based off of. So, hold on one second. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, after doing my checklist, I did, in fact, miss an audio... I, not an audio diary. I missed one of the things. And I think I know where it is. I think that so-called, you know, body shoot uh, had a lot more in it than I think I thought it did. So I'm going to cut ahead back into the prison and go and get that because obviously that would go against everything in which I'm saying it. So I'll meet you guys back in the infirmary ward in a bit. If Daniel dies along the way, I will show Daniel that. Sorry, Daniel. So I'm cutting ahead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. And this time we're hopefully going to get that tonic. I can't believe I missed this tonic. I did actually have to look up online. I will say I had to look up online for this because I didn't think about it. So in there... No, I am right. This, apparently, this is solitary confinement. 
I always thought this was more of, you know, something else. Something, you know, where the body's shot. Oh, that hurt. Stop doing that, Daniel. That's really painful. But inside one of these ones should be what I'm looking for. And it's this one. It is Elemental Vampire. So, sometimes you want more than just to watch to just watch your enemies burn alive. Sometimes you want to steal their precious life force too. Elemental Vampire makes that possible. Give and you shall receive. So, your level 3 elemental stream siphon all health from your enemies. That's fucking broken. Oh god, I don't remember this. Daniel, why didn't you protect me? Huh. Oh, Daniel! We talked about this. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, that takes care of that, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we have all of the uh, tonics that we can get on the actual overworld. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet you guys inside of the infirmary right now. And continue with the plot because I completely fucked up on that and I would have completely forgotten it. So, cutting back over to there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and every time I turn around, Daniel seems to discharge fire and always catches Eleanor on fire. There's an there's a double entendre in there somewhere. I'll tell you when I find it. Oh, and it happened again. We've been over this man. I need to start controlling it. You need to do it in private. So, let's go and continue actually with the plot now. Oh, hi! I don't know. He just randomly was there with, like, no health. That was kind of weird. So, let's go inside here and see what we can find around, seeing as how I wasted enough time completely fucking up on that. Ugh, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. That one, I did not remember about that tonic at all. It's a good thing that I had my checklist there, because I had to make sure. And put you out of your misery. Even though I didn't take all your health, you ended up dying, but okay. Uh, put you out of your misery, too. You never have anything on you, and I want... Oh! Stop it! You, you need to get that checked out, man. That's kind of condition. Oh, God! Heart attack. Where's my medication? Steady, father. Don't let go now. I, I don't want to. Oh. Looks like there's another dead one right there. Surprise it. Well, so far, Daniel survived the longest out of all of my... One... Oh. Are you okay? He's kind of just shot shotgun shots, too. We, we've been over this, man. You need to calm your tits. Like now. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is drill... And what we have right around here is the area in which I said we would get to before, so push the button. Ow, I got shot. Oh, Daniel, you and your Falcon Punch! Oh, jeez. That was a double team. You sent him to the void! <laughs> Daniel, your punch sends people to the void! <laughs> the void when I get near them. <laughs> oh, we've been over this. Oh, and now you caused Eleanor to run away because you can't control it, man. <sighs> Need to stop that. All right. So in the meantime, now we have them follow us, and we're gonna get to the last power to the people station. So inside there, you can notice that there are certain things. Uh, there is. Right, so that takes care of that. And he ended up doing that again. So we have in there, and that's uh, kind of disturbing, to say the least. So let us make sure that you stay hypnotized, my friend, because it, 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 your, your, your void punches are necessary entirely. We need you to punch people into the void. But here we have another one of the audio diaries. This one is my prison. I believe this is by someone else. I forget who it is, though, but let's... If I hold the X button... Guess I had the wrong of it when it came to Dr. Lamb. She explained how my cravings for control were rotting me out from the inside. 
We found all these incidents in my log where I made it easy for a convict to get the jump on me, just so I could bloody punish him. Christ. But I believe I can do some good down here now, with the family. Well, we have a shot at surviving that fucking bedlam going on up there. Maybe even take the city back. So, looks like Lamb ended up converting the Warden. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the last power to the people station in the game. So, what shall be our final upgrade? Uh, all of it's kind of shit. So what's the last thing for the uh, spear gun, since I might as well do it? Or, yeah, it is spear gun. It is, you must have both to that. A reinforced firing spring and retooled barrel allow for much faster spear travel and decreased re uh, refire time. Spears will reach their targets much faster and pin enemies at longer distances. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why it feels like I'm bleh, feel like I'm belching. That would have actually been useful, huh? Oh well. In the meantime, I uh, might as well increase the damage of this thing. So there we go. That's the last power of the people station, ladies and gentlemen. We have done all of them, so we should get a trophy for it. Oh god, dang it! Stop with your thing. There it is. All weapon upgrades. So that pretty much means we have gotten every single power to the people station in this game. So that officially means, trophy-wise, we have all the trophies that you can get based on collectibles that you haven't gotten yet. Now what I need to do is open up this door and say hi! Go, Daniel, go! Go, Daniel, go! Go, Daniel, go! Go, Daniel, go! Daniel, go! Oh! Daniel, Daniel. Oh God! I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering how long um I'm kind of wondering how long Daniel lasts with us. This is actually interesting. I want to see if I can get him to the end of the game. I I, I want to see if I can get him to the end of the game. I love how I control more of the you know Alpha series than I do like the other ones. But oh well. But here we have first aid kits and some heat seeking darts, and we will be reborn. Scribbled on the walls. Oh. <sighs> I've learned to just accept the fact that you have a terrible discharge problem, Daniel. But we have to control it. Eleanor doesn't always like it. Now what I need to do is I need to hack that. So what I need to do is before uh, Daniel and them get the idea to destroy it. Nope. But in the meantime, Daniel, you can destroy the enemies inside here. Instead of discharging again. We've, we've been over this, man. I wish that... Whoa! Frame drop. That was... That was bad. So, inside this room right here, we're actually going to be getting the last two audio... Oh, god damn it. Not again. Uh, it seems Daniel's causing frame drops. I can't, I can't, I can't have that, Daniel. I can't, can't stop that. We're going to be having some of the last audio diaries here. So, one of them is inside here. Oh, what? Did he teleport out of the way? Oh, uh, that's not good at all. So let us. That's not an auto hack. Auto out. Crap, crap, crap. What I need is that. Oh, that is not what I need at all. There we go. Go, Daniel. Go, Daniel. Go, Daniel. Go. Go, Daniel. Go, Daniel. Go, Daniel. Go. Kill my enemies for me. Woo, woo. Your kill count is impressive, Daniel. Very impressive. Your ability to also punch people into the void and cause me some frame, massive frame drops, is also rather annoying. Uh, please stop that. Uh, also stop with the discharge. All right, Eleanor, get summoned and. Wait, did I? I, I didn't throw you under. I didn't throw it underwater. All right, come on, Daniel. Uh, let's go and save the day. But first. Here's another audio diary right here. This means, after this, we only have one left, ladies and gentlemen, in this entire game. So, what is this one? They feel pain. Now, one of the girls managed to dart past the nurse today and throw herself over the railing in the lobby. Not certain if she was trying to end her own life or a merely escape. But either way, her legs had healed by the time I managed to get down to the first floor where she lay. Now, without proper setting, the rapid healing process had fused her bones back together at odd angles. We had to re-break 
and set them almost a dozen times, each due to the small window of viability. Now, those children may be immortal, but I can verify. They feel pain. Advising Dr. Lamb on higher doses of sedatives to keep this from happening again. So a little sister ended up falling out. Stand in our way and you'll get go, Daniel, go! I will eventually get this one. Screw it. Uh, bye out. Uh oh. Daniel? Daniel? Oh, there you are, Daniel. You scared me for a second, boy. Now you need to be careful. You're not as spry as you used to be. You're practically dead, actually. It's rather bad. So, let's summon Eleanor back, or she disappeared. Uh, stop doing that. Please stop doing that and stop with the frame drops. There's a bot shut down right there, and... Uh-oh, Brute Splicer. Go! Come on, you guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on! And... Goodbye. Daniel? Daniel? Daniel, where are, where are you? Dan Daniel? Daniel? Where did you... Where'd you go? Daniel! Oh, Daniel! There you are, Daniel! Ah, silly boy. Always making me worry. I mean, what 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 would have happened if you got hurt? Come on, Daniel. We we need to keep going. Come on. Come to the, come to the door. Dan Daniel? Are we, are we at an impasse, Daniel? Daniel, are we at an impasse? We need you to go through the door. Daniel? Daniel? Don't make me do what I don't want to do. I'll count to three. One. Two. Two and a half. Fine, I'm leaving you behind for right now. But if I come back and you attack me, then we're going to have a problem. I can't leave him like this. I'm sorry, old friend. This is murder on my part. Now, follow me. Go through the door. It hurt me more than it hurt you. I, there we go. So difficult, this boy. I don't understand why he does this. In the meantime, let us hack things, uh, get reacquainted. Uh, for a second, I thought I had to put Daniel down old Yeller style. No, luckily I didn't have to, so that's good. Fortunately, now I'm alone when dealing with his premature uh, problems. But don't worry, uh, we have Eleanor Lamb to help us with that. So, Miss Lamb, come back. Daniel, uh, where'd you go? Dan. Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, where'd you go? You were. Daniel, where did you go? I, I just had to deal with you. Being disobedient a second ago. I can hear you hiding. So what are you doing? We're nearing another pediatric ward. It will be guarded, Father. Get ready. The void. Dan Daniel. I will avenge you. I don't know if the void took you because he, or if that guy just had instant transmission, but I will avenge you. But first, we will listen to the last audio diary of the game. Daniel. My first incarnation when Dr. Lamb gave me my mandate to alleviate pain was to block its neural pathways. Now, the preliminary results were promising too, until some of the children started chewing their own tongues off out of ignorance need to sequester them away from the others so as not to cause undue stress on the remaining subjects. Biting one's tongue off? That's one piece levels of shit, and I'm still upset that we lost Daniel. And to somebody who can have instant transmission, the void lost to instant transmission, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard it here first. 
But with that, we have all the audio diaries, all of the Power to the People stations, and all... There he is. I hear him. I hear the bitch. Where is he? He's fine. Eleanor? No. I must be the one... Eleanor, I must be the one to kill him. When you've cleared them out, I'll need a signal like before. Push the call button, and I'll proceed. That's for killing Daniel! You bastard! So, pretty much though, we have every single collectible here. In the meantime, what I gotta do is deal with this and try to hack it. There we go, that's what I need. And now we just have to basically survive. <sighs> it's not the same without Daniel. It's just not the same. Will that work? Right in the leg. Uh, it's not the same. It's just not the fucking same. Just, it's, it's, it's just depressing. Daniel, I did my best to try and save you. But you ran off. And you got killed. Definitely the longest big daddy that ended up surviving. Um, Eleanor, I want to keep this one. So, uh, welcome to my family. Ah, you have an electrical discharge problem. Uh, good to know. Uh, I will call you, um, Michael. Alright, Michael, so we gotta go to the end of the game. And let's hit the button, because after this, this pretty much signals in the last part of the game. Yes, we're ready for the ballast tank. I can boil off the water and get us out of here. We must return to the docking platform, Father, now. Alright, come, Michael. We go. For all the fallen Daniels, Travis's, Eric's, and all of Scarlet Equinox, we run! And Parabond is playing again, which I absolutely adore. Now, you're going to be getting random instances of Adam showing up, like so. The will to choose. And now, like a plague, she spreads it to those innocents. To be self-aware is a curse, Delta. You are damning them. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ow! You okay, Michael? Looks like I got to get to the end of the game with you. It was going to be Daniel, uh, but he died to who I'm going to call... Hmm... I will name him... No, what... I, I don't know what I'll name the one that ended up killing Daniel. All I know is I killed the bitch. So, pretty much right here, this is the last portion of the game, ladies and gentlemen. After this, we'll signal the last main assault that's going to end up happening in this game. Make sure that you are fully stocked on everything you need. Because once we go a bit closer, pretty much that's when we're going to be getting things. And I don't think I ended up... No, I ended up doing it. I don't know what the thing's doing right now. I think it's trying to point me at the thing, yes. The moment you get up there... Stepping inside the ballast tank, Father. Come up to the glass once you're ready for me to begin. There's no going back once we start.